फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योगाधा चैनल यू आर वाचिंग पार्ट एट ऑफ गेरन समिता ट्यूटोरियल वेयर इन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर टू दैट इज आसन आई मे टेल यू अगेन दैट मेनी आसन डिस्क्राइब इन गेरन समिता आर नॉट सिमिलर टू वंस व्हिच वी प्रैक्टिस नाउ अडेज सो जस्ट गो थ्रू देम फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिफोर वी गो अहेड लेट्स हैव रिकैप ऑन गेरन समिता चैप्टर्स be aware that there are seven chapters in giran samhita now there is a small question for you to answer how many chapters are there in shiv samhita hart yog pradipika and hart ratnavali please comment below and i will send you comparison on these texts so we have already completed first chapter under chapter 2 we have learned that there is only description of 32 asans we have covered the first 10 asans in the last video now in this video we will learn about next 10 asans let's have recap of first 10 asans sidasan padmasan badrasan muktasan vajrasan swastikasan singhasan gomukhasan virasan and 10th is dhanurasan now we will be exploring 11th asan a wonderful yoga posture called मृतासन ऑल्सो नोन एज कॉप्स पोस्टर दिस आसन माइट साउंड इजी बट इट होल्ड प्रोफाउंड सिग्निफिकेंस इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ योगा मृतासन इज एन एक्सिलेंट वे टू रिलैक्स द बॉडी एंड माइंड बाई कॉन्शियसली रिलीजिंग टेंशन फ्रॉम वेरियस बॉडी पार्ट इट प्रमोट्स डीप रिलैक्सेशन रिड्यूसिंग स्ट्रेस एंड एंगजाइटी एज वी लाई स्टिल इन मृतासन आवर बॉडी कंजर्व एंड रीडायरेक्ट एनर्जी अलाइंग फॉर रिज्यूवनेशन एंड रिस्टोरेशन it also promotes mindfulness enhances sleep quality reduces blood pressure and relieves physical fatigue now let's learn about the 12th asan gupta asan the hidden posture sit comfortably with legs crossed holding the toes with opposite hands behind your back this asan improves spine flexibility stretches the shoulder and stimulates the abdominal organs promoting better digestion it also provides relief from back pain enhances concentration activates the manipur chakra boosting self confidence and will power now 13th matasya asan the fish posture lie on your back after padmasan arch your chest upward and rest the crown of your head on the floor this asan deeply stretches the chest neck and abdomen opening the heart center its benefits it strengthens the upper back and stimulates the thyroid and parathyroid glands improving the metabolism it also alleviates respiratory issues reduces anxiety and improves the posture also next is 14th one matsend asan the lord of the fishes posture in this sit with one leg bent and the other crossed over it twisting your upper body towards the crossed leg this asan deeply massages the abdominal organs and stretches the spine this asan improves digestion stimulates the liver and the leaves lower back ache it also enhances the flexibility of the spine and hips let's move on to 15th goraksh asan so this is as described in the giran samhita between the knees and the thighs the two feet turned upward and placed in a hidden way the heels being carefully covered by the two bands outstretched the throat being contracted let one fix the gaze on the tip of the nose let's explore the 16th one paschimottanasan the seated forward bend in this we sit with our legs extended forward and toes flexed towards ourselves hinge at your hips to reach forward lengthening our spine as we fold towards our legs this asan stretches the entire back body including the spine hamstrings and calf muscles as well as it stimulates the abdominal organs 
improves digestion its regular practice helps relieve stress and anxiety calming the mind and promoting a sense of inner peace now let's learn about the 17th asan utkat asan the powerful pose it is also known as chair pose as described by the gyan samhita nowadays utkat asan is somewhat different which is practiced by standing tall with feet hip width apart bending knees and lowering the hips as if sitting on an imaginary chair so this asan strengthens the thighs calves and ankles improving lower body endurance it also engages the core muscles toning the abdomen and promoting better posture so its regular practice builds both physical and mental strength achieving a sense of empowerment and confidence eighth is sankatasan the pose of contraction already described on the slide as mentioned in the giran samhita coming to the 19th posture which is mayurasan the peacock pose it is practiced by beginning in a kneeling position placing your palms on the floor with fingers pointing towards your body then legs are straightened shifting the weight forward and lifting feet off the ground balancing on the palms so as you can see <clears throat> the whole weight of the body falls on the arms and so this asan strengthens the wrists arms and shoulders improving our upper body strength because of the pressure on the abdomen it also stimulates the digestive organs helping in better digestion and metabolism it is also known for activating manipur chakra helping developing confidence will power and its regular practice also helps in improving our physical and mental control lastly let's explore 20th asan which is kukutasan it can be practiced by sitting in a cross leg position inserting arms through the space between calves and thighs and placing palms on the ground then entire body is lifted off the ground with balance on the palms so this asan strengthens the arms wrists and shoulders building the upper body strength core muscles are engaged because of which the abdomen is toned it improves focus concentration and balance its regular practice helps in achieving sense of lightness and agility so this was all about from 11 to 20th asan of the giran samhita in the next series we will discuss on remaining 12 asans please comment on this video for suggestion doubts or more clarifications and also do not forget to write in the comment box how many chapters are there in shiv samhita hartyog pradipika and hartratnavli